The 2024 Safida Games opened over the weekend. Rashida Essen takes us there. The 2024 51st Karifta Games opened over the Easter weekend, and it was as exciting as the years before, with competing teams from the different Caribbean islands stepping out in their vibrant Caribbean colors, all ready to fight for the win. Held at the Kirani James Athletic Stadium in St. George's, Grenada from March 30 to April 1, the track and field games were on fire with Jamaica, the Karifta champion with 37 consecutive wins, defending with 79 strong athletes its title against the other 26 countries. The Bahamas, of course, the five-time consecutive Karifta Aquatics champion, also defending their title at home in Nassau at the Betty Kelly Kenning Aquatic Center, March 29 to April 3, with 47 powerful swimmers after last hosting the event in 2017. The competition was intense, driven by passion, patriotism, and adrenaline, with the unwavering support from Caribbean people from each competing country. First held in 1972, the Karifta Games, founded by the Caribbean Free Trade Association, is an anticipated, highly significant annual event for young Caribbean athletes who are given the opportunity for recognition, a gateway into world athletic success. Jamaica on day one was unsurprisingly leading the medal table with two gold medals. Meanwhile, Antigua and Barbuda followed closely behind with one gold, then the Bahamas and Trinidad and Tobago each with a silver. Furthermore, 16-year-old Windell Bade from Aruba made history for his country, earning a silver medal, the first in 16 years. In fact, some of the region's top athletes entered the spotlight as young competitors through the Karifta Games, such as Jamaica's one and only Usain Bolt, Johan Blake, Aileen Bailey and Shelley and Fraser Price, and the Bahamas' Debbie Ferguson McKenzie, Chandra Stirrup, and Stephen Gardiner, top Olympic gold, silver, and bronze medalists, living testimonies to the reach of the Karifta Games. Rashid Essen reporting. Download and subscribe to One Caribbean Television for more Caribbean content anytime, anywhere.